If you had a bionic eye implant fitted, you might eventually be able to see better or you might be able to, you know, like if anyone's into Black Mirror, you might be able to film things or, or whatever. But um, it could result in the formation of cysts on the eye, which could actually even lead to things like blindness. So this sort of imagines the procedure that you might have to have to remove the implant and take, take away the cyst. I think the work itself is quite visceral <laughs> and I think there's that thing often where you're presented with new biological tech and it's all very sort of like new and shiny and exciting um, but seeing the work in a way that a medical practitioner might see it in the form of a specimen is quite different because you, I mean, when I look at this I think about what's going, inside, going on inside my own body. crash back or social and visible and yet if into turbulence the computer permeated in multiple world it can frighteningly simulate some of the things that we have always taken for granted like our signatures our um, handwriting as being this sort of imprint of who we are of our essential essential selves and that's being taken away from us in that sense. And in the history of technology, there's some really interesting moments as we develop these technologies and we start to question the boundaries about what it is actually the human, what is makes us distinct from other things. So we have brought together scientists and researchers uh, from King's College London and artists to explore some of these really important issues and visitors will uh, see art exhibits that, uh, that, that ponder on the future of, of human repair and alteration, uh, that ask questions about whether we might live forever in the future and what that means, that, that ask about whether our body parts are an integral part of us or can be outside of us and, and what that, that does to the idea of life and, uh, and the way that we, we think about our human health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 